So for the mechanical and keyboard enthusiasts out there, um, a lot of people like to use monkey type. The same Matlab that made the do it application, the to-do list one that looks kind of fancy, made basically monkey type for the terminal. It's called term typer. And one thing that you'll notice, it makes sounds. So I forgot to grab that one from over here. So again, it's on GitHub. You can install it pretty easily. And it's got some different styles that you can apply to it or tweaks. Going through all the settings, I haven't quite figured out, but the basics are pretty simple. So these are your basic settings. Um, minimum speed accuracy and burst. If you like pain and stuff like that, then maybe this is your cup of tea, but, you know, you, you can mess with those settings. Oh... So HJK navigates the menu. Pretty simple though. Oh. Control H and then they've got a few other settings things in here. Um, with my terminal theme, it is kind of weird. Escape to get out of that, that's right. So this is what, no. This is, nope, 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 still not quite minimal. This is what it looks like by default. So if I start typing, then you see the bar kind of starts to go and fill in. If I can spell right. So that, that's basically what it looks like. Um, I can turn off the punctuation, but like it said in control P, so I don't get the parentheses. Um, toggling numbers is N and so forth that way. Um, if I want to change the bar, like I showed up in there, it's control B so I can get a Pac-Man. So we get Pac-Man going across the screen for our bar. Or we can get Doge going across the screen, screen for our bar. Get a balloon that kind of swivels across. Or even get Ferris the Crab to run across the screen for us. Yeah, I don't need your help. So if I hit Control again it'll bring up those details of my speed and accuracy and all oh like i said control p and control will do different punctuation numbers things to add into it so control s is basically the size of the typing sample that you're getting so small makes it small ish huge gives you big big words and stuff and yeah so you can decide on the size of words you can handle. Oh, the other thing was, what was the last thing? There are some other settings that he shows off. Okay, so those other settings that he shows off. So when we go into 
settings here. You hit Control H and it brings up this thing. It show, tells you how to navigate between things and to move things around the options and how to navigate through the menu. So if I hit Tab from pushing your limits to Hardcore, we can go between the two and force yourself into like harder things and make it more Dark Souls. You have correctness and things like that. And I think my favorite part is eye candy. So we can go for the underline, the block, or turn the cursor off completely so that you're only going by color. And then you've got your cursor buddy. What this is, is it is a cursor that falls, follows your cursor at a set speed that you set. So either it's going to be lagging behind you or in front of you. Kind of, I guess, to guide you if you're into that thing. Um, more aesthetic things. Do you want key presses on? Do you want to turn key press sounds on whenever you type every time because you don't have a clicky keyboard? Or... You can change your keyboard sound to different things. So we can have lubed, cream, or heavy. And then, let's see. Restart, and yeah. So you've got a bunch of options that you can tweak around with. So I think we've already messed with the lubed. Let's see, or we had the mech. Let's go to the cream. Wait. Okay, that's what that sounds like, you know. That's the cream. Finally, I think our mech is going to be pretty standard. We've probably listened to it a million times already. Then finally, our heavy, our typewriter. If you want that immersive experience, you've got it. So we'll turn those back to default there because I don't need it. I've my, my keyboard, my mechanical keyboard is loud enough without like the clicky keys. And when I want to use the clicky keys, I've always got my sweep. Yeah, those are the settings you can mess around with. The cool stuff and changing things. Give yourself a buddy if you're feeling lonely and change your carrot style. So you don't have to be alone. So yeah, I think for the most part, I think it does run on Windows if you install it in Windows Subsystem for Linux because it's a Python application. So it should potentially run. It plays sounds. I don't know if that works under that. But for all you mechanical keyboard people, it works. <laughs> you have your race bar, your words per minute, and things like that. It just doesn't ha do the type racer thing. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, 
share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my my streaming ch stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.